Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to add a battery meter and CPU monitor to the information stream feature on your Galaxy S6 Edge. Now information stream is one of the Edge screen features that are exclusive to the S6 Edge. It lets you see quick at a glance information with a simple swipe while the screen is off. This feature also supports plugins or additional streams of information that can come from third party sources. So developers are starting to come up with nifty little add-ons for information stream and the team at 3C has some cool new system feeds that might come in handy. There's an in-depth battery meter with all sorts of detailed stats as well as a CPU monitor feed and a few others. To get started head to the Google Play Store then search install an app called 3C Toolbox. If you're having trouble finding this, there's a link to the install page in step 1 of the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. Then once you have the app installed, go ahead and open it up to do a little bit of setup. Right off the bat you'll see a change log. Tap OK here to dismiss this message. Then from the main screen, scroll all the way down to the bottom and tap All App Settings. From here head to the Notifications entry, then the Notification Packages menu. Now this is where you'll see the information stream feeds. The little graphics shown in this list aren't perfect replicas, but they give you a good idea of how the feed will look. There's options for battery stats, CPU readings, and there's even a few for RAM and internal storage. But when you find one that looks good to you, go ahead and tap the download button just to the right of the entry. From here give it a few seconds to download the add-on, then Android's installer interface should come right up. At this point just make sure you have unknown sources enabled in your phone's settings under lock screen and security, then tap the install button. When that's finished, you'll be kicked back out to the download menu again. If you want, you can download a few more feeds and the process will be exactly the same. But when you're done with all that, hit your back button, then head right back into the notification packages menu. From here, you'll have to activate any plugins that you downloaded. So tap the entry on the bottom half of the screen to do just that. After that, you'll see your notification package move up to the activated section. From here, tap the settings icon to the right of the entry to configure it a bit. On this next screen, go ahead and tick the box next to Only Edge Screen Feed, then press OK on the pop-up. When you're done with that, repeat this same process for any other notification packages that you downloaded, then you'll be ready to add them to your information stream. To do that, head to your Settings menu, then scroll down a bit, and select the Edge Screen Entry. On the bottom half of this next screen, scroll down again, then tap the Information Stream Entry. From here, make sure that the feature is turned on, then hit Manage Feeds. Finally, on this next menu, scroll all the way over to the right, then find the newly installed feed. After that, just tick the box at the top of this feed, and you'll be all set to go. Now you may have to turn your screen off and on a few times before you'll see your new information stream feed, but that's just how the Edge screen features work on this device. But when you're ready to use the new feed, just swipe back and forth on the right edge of your display while the screen is off. At this point, you'll see the standard clock information screen, but scroll over to the right, and you'll find your newly installed feed. So it's an easy way to get quick system information and a variety of options will match anybody's tastes. But for the full breakdown be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com and as always we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks but until then happy gadget hacking.